Going on, guys. James the Third Ambassador is out here. Get my butt handed to me, to me today. <laughs> Nothing's going right, man. I lost a chatterbait, spinnerbait. I lost a lipless crankbait. I missed a bite over here. Um, yeah, man, I just, I don't know. I'm trying to get it done, but it's kind of hard. I guess one thing I was going to talk about today was uh, the number one thing that I get asked in my comment section is, where is that spot at? It doesn't matter where I'm fishing at. doesn't matter what spot I go to. It's always, where is that spot at? Well, I'm going to say it like this. If you have a fishing spot and you know there's fish in it, Go to that fishing spot and put your time into that fishing spot. Just go to that spot in particular, whatever spot it may be. It could be any spot around here. It could be a lake. It could be whatever. Put your time into that spot. Could be two years, three years. You got to put your time into the spot. I've put my years into this place. I've put years into other fishing spots and I know how to target the fish. This place is not easy to fish. This is like the hardest place. We call this the black diamond run of the uh, fishing ponds we fish it's it's hard it's like professional fishing if you don't know what you're doing out here get your butt handed to you so i say man there's so many ponds around sacramento and around wherever you're at whatever area you're in just google maps find some local ponds park ponds whatever they may be pressured but if you keep casting and you keep going for those fish and you just keep a positive mindset you will catch big fish and you will beat your pbs and You'll start growing as an angler. You just got to put time in, man. It's not just about where's that spot at. It's it's about how much do you fish that spot. I put three years into this place to figure it out. I don't mind if people come out. They see how I catch them. And they come out and they do the same thing. That's what it's about, man. I, I watch other people's videos, and that's how I've learned to do what I do. I've only been fishing for eight, nine years now, and it's my therapy, man. It's I went through a really bad divorce. Lost my kids, my house, my car, my dogs, my cats, my chinchillas, my <laughs> everything. I lost everything. I lost all my tools. Ah, but yeah, this is my therapy, man. Get out and fish. Get out and have some fun. I am having a horrible day right now. I feel like just going home. You know how many videos I have where I say I was going to go home and I end up catching a real big one? I'm going to try. Might not make it. This video might get put out either way can't just put out all fishing videos i like to put out a lot of my fishing footage i try to do it like uh i grew up skateboarding and if you ever watch skateboarding videos they're like hype videos it's a lot of good music with a lot of action and it's in your face and it's it gets you pumped up and it's get up off your couch and go chase your dreams man that's what my videos are about so it's foggy out here man over in citrus heights at my house it's completely sunny, man. Nice sunny day over there. I come out over here and it's all fogged out. I figured the water would be warming up in these shallow spots, but man, I missed one good bite over here. And we'll just keep going for it, I guess. Urban Bass Slayers. International Sportsman's Expo is coming up soon, too. Ah. Anyway, I guess I'm going to go back to my crowd heads. All my uh, other baits are at the bottom of the pond. <laughs> All right, urban best layers.